Honorable Chief Guest of today's program, Her Excellency, Madam President, Vidya Devi Bandari, the President of Nepal, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Sherbaradu Dorba, Chair of the program and Vice Chair of the National Youth Council, Mr. Madhav Dungal, representatives from various entities, from government agencies, from national and international institutions, partners, and most importantly, the stars of the show, the young people who are joining us today. It is a great honor for me to speak today at this important program organized by the National Youth Council, Ministry of Youth and Sports, to mark the International Youth Day. Our world is home to 1.8 billion young people between the ages of 10 to 24, the largest generation of young people ever in history. It seems odd that one would have to justify or defend the involvement of young people in the work we all do. As the UN, the government, civil society, but all too often young people are left outside decision-making table. Their concerns are unheard, their ideas are unacknowledged, and their ideas sometimes never get the light of day. We mark today International Youth Day on August 12th every year because we must bring the issues of youth to the attention of the international community, but also because we must all celebrate youth as equal partners in building our global society and the society here in Nepal. Young people must be recognized as holding so many of the keys to a more sustainable and inclusive future. Young people dream, they dare to dream of what the future can be, and that is required for visioning for a country's development. This year's theme is Transforming Food Systems, Youth Innovation for Human and Planetary Health. I have had the honor in the past couple of months to speak a great deal about food systems and their importance. And as I have said there, I will repeat here today, food is a powerful element impacting individuals, societies, and institutions. Food connects people, prosperity, and planet. And fundamentally, food impacts sustainable and inclusive development. Sustainable food systems do not only help to end hunger, but help us to achieve all 17 sustainable development goals, whether on gender equality, on education, climate change, or zero poverty. Food systems are key and necessary to provide people with diets that are nutritious, safe, affordable, and sustainable. And an investment in adolescents aged 10 to 19 years delivers a triple dividend by improving health and well-being now, enhancing it throughout the life course, and contributing to the health of future generations, the generations that are needed to keep every country going, and no different for Nepal. We may sometimes forget that food security and malnutrition are gendered globally, and we know this to also be the case here in Nepal. Adolescent girls are especially vulnerable to malnutrition, and gendered social norms and harmful practices mean that they often lack access to nutritious food, education, and economic opportunities. A cycle of marginalization and inequality. Food insecurity and malnutrition are both causes and consequences of child marriage as deeply rooted gender norms that undervalue girls intersect with food insecurity and poverty to create powerful drivers of child marriage. Food systems are the foundation of our communities and societies and have great potential also as equalizers of historical inequalities, whether in terms of strengthened nutrition or in terms of economic opportunities for young people. Food systems are the largest employer of young people, particularly in the global south. Yet, they often do not provide decent and meaningful work or adequate livelihood opportunities, nor do they maintain a balance between the needs and rights of different generations. The change that needs to happen in food systems to make them more sustainable and inclusive cannot happen without young people. And in fact, they are on the front lines of transforming agriculture and food systems in Nepal and across the globe. We must ensure to support youth to amplify efforts collectively and individually to restore the planet and protect life while integrating biodiversity in the transformation of food systems. In Nepal right now, 
four out of 10 people are youth. This is an opportunity like no other. There is an immense potential, but it requires that we all create an enabling environment for every young person, for them to have the means, the opportunities, and the capabilities to play their part in Nepal's development journey, including towards sustainable and robust LDC graduation. That means Nepal graduating from being a least developed country. For this to happen, it is important that we invest in youth innovations and creativity. The UN Youth Group in collaboration with the National Youth Council, WWF Nepal, and Creation Nepal organized a youth innovation workshop complementing this year's theme to convene youth of diverse communities and backgrounds to discuss the main challenges facing the food system and food system actors, the impact on its climate it has on climate, gender inequality, and health, and to develop innovative solutions for better and stronger food systems. They have been working on these ideas for the past couple of days. These ideas will be presented in the Food Summit in September, and I cannot wait to learn all, all of the ideas they have conceptualized. Through events like these, the UN Youth Group, consisting of UNB, UNICEF, FAO, WFP, UN Women, UNDP, and UNFPA, and in partnership with the National Youth Council, has made sure to really advocate and lobby for youth engagement and participation for the achievement of the 2030 agenda. The youth, being about 40% of this population, should have a strong voice in how this country develops, the trajectory of the development agenda, and to ensure sustainable, true sustainable and inclusive development. Thank you.